Let's take a look at how we can use matrices to solve linear systems using Maple. So suppose we have the following two linear systems to solve. The first linear system is 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals 11, 6x minus 11y plus 2z equals 3, and 9x minus 2y plus z equals negative 2. Now the method that we use for solving these is to put these into an augmented matrix and row reduce it. So if I enter this augmented matrix into Maple by columns, the standard approach, I'd have 2, 6, 9, then I'd have 3, minus 11, and minus 2. Those are the coefficients of y. The coefficients of z are 4, 2, and 1. And then finally, the numbers past the equal signs are 11, 3, and minus 2. So I enter this as a matrix. Double check those. 2, 6, 9, 3, 11, minus 2, 4, 2, 1, 11, 3, minus 2. Those are the right columns. And then I would simply right click on this, go down to the solvers to get to reduced row echelon form, and linear algebra reduced row echelon form gives me the following values. If I translate these into equations, x is equal to minus 21 thirty-sevenths, y is equal to negative 1 thirty-seventh, and z is equal to 113 thirty-sevenths. And that's as easy as it is for solving these equations right here. Perhaps the trickiest part is just getting in these matrices, since it's sometimes difficult to read the columns from these rows. Another option for entering these is to go over to the matrix tab and to enter these in manually. This is going to have three rows, and it should have four columns. Oops, let's bring that down to three rows and four columns. So I'll enter this in, and now I can enter in the coefficients by rows. So 2x, 3y, 4z equals 11, 6x minus 11y, 2z equals 3, and finally 9x minus 2y plus 1z equals negative 2. And that's simply another way of getting hold of the same matrix. And once again, if I right click on it, go down to reduced row echelon form, I find the same answers I had before. So let's take a look at this second option, the second system. Uh, I'll enter this in, say, the standard version right now by columns. Since the first column, the x column is 7, 8, 9. The second column, the y column, is 4, 5, 6. Those are the coefficients of y. The z column, the coefficients of z are 1, 2, 3. And then finally, past the equal signs, we have 16, 20, and 24. So here's that matrix, 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 16, 20, 24. I'll right click on it, go over to the standard solvers. We want to put this into row echelon form reduced. And in its reduced row echelon form, we find that we have a pivot here and a pivot here, but not a pivot in the third column. Since the last equation is 0 equals 0, this really tells us that we have free variables. So our equations are x minus, oops, x minus z equals 0, and we have the equation y plus 2z equals 4. So 2 times z equals 4. And so if we were to solve each one of these equations, I could solve this equation for the variable x and find out that x is equal to z. I could solve this equation for the variable y and find that y is equal to 4 minus 2z, but there's no equation for the variable z. That means that z is free. So my solution is x is equal to z, y is equal to minus, or y is equal to 4 minus 2z, and z is a free variable. And that's the basics of solving.